an extremely important family of fruits that you definitely want to have as part of your collection are family known as the Anonaceae family. Within this family, we find many, many fruits that are of significant economic importance throughout tropical America, as well as tropical Asia. Over here on my right, we have a, a sugar apple tree. This is an Anona squamosa. This is a, an excellent tree. Uh, they, don't, they don't get very big. It's a slow to moderate growth rate. Uh, they lose their leaves in the winter. They're deciduous, which is not necessarily a problem, but, uh, over here on my right, we see what uh, we see a sugar apple. You'll notice the fruit is segmented. Um, when the fruit is ripe, you'll get a yellow color break between the segments. At which point, you can pick the fruit and it will ripen off the tree. Some of the other excellent fruits in the Anona family, uh, well, are off to my left. But let me mention this one off to my right. This one is the Anona reticulata, which is often uh, known as a custard apple. This particular Anona is ripe, comes ripe in the winter time, this, which makes this an interesting tree to have as part of your collection. Most tropical fruits are either ripe in late spring, midsummer to early fall. And so it is nice to be able to go out in, in January and February and, and get these fruits. The fruits get fairly large. Many of you have seen this fruit. Uh, in collections of artificial uh, plastic or wax fruits, you'll often see one of these uh, custard apples. So another name for it is called a bullock's heart. Uh, one of the problems we had with this tree in Miami was that the Anona seed borer, which is a pest of Anonas, which is one of the reasons these are no longer really grown commercially here in South Florida, is the Anona seed borer, which would bore into the fruit, into the seed, and then, of course, when the insect would mature, it would bore out of the fruit, thereby ruining the fruit. Well, those Anona seed borers would overwinter in the custard apple, which would then, they'd bore out, and then they'd reinfect the good Anonas, which uh, set fruit in the uh, mid to midsummer to late summer. We're going to look at a couple of other varieties of Anonas that are superior to the sugar apple, and these are over here. One of the best tasting of the Anonis is the Atamoya. In fact, it's one of my favorite tropical fruits. It's, it's certainly, if you're going to have tropical fruit trees in your yard, besides lychees, mangoes, caramolas, you most certainly want to have an Atamoya. This tree is a hybrid, hybrid Anona. Uh, it's a hybrid which is a cross between the Cherimoya, which is a true Anona species, and the sugar apple, the Anona squamosa, which is also a true Anona species. This tree uh, is a result of hybridizing, hybridizing between these two trees. Now, the problem is the cherimoya, which is found throughout most of Central America and tropical South America, tends to grow at a higher elevation. These trees are grown commercially in California. You'll oftentimes see the fruits in the grocery store. The excellent, excellent fruit. Well, it turns out this tree does, grows here in Florida, but it doesn't produce any fruit. The sugar apple, on the other hand, grows very well in Florida, but the fruit is characterized by the slightly gritty stone cells. Good tasting, but you know that slight grittiness to it. By crossing these two, we end up with a fruit that has the characteristics of both the sugar apple and the cherimoya, and that's the atomoya. And these things do very well here in Florida. This is a variety. There's a couple of uh, fairly common varieties. Uh, the uh, the Geffner Atamoya and the Priestley Atamoya. We can see over here, there's a ripe Atamoya that's just about ready to come off the tree. You can see over here. You'll notice here we've got the yellow color break. We've got the yellow color break between the segments. So, uh, great tree. Uh, definitely should be one of your first choices uh, for uh, an ananaceous tree to, to put in your part of your collection. This is a fairly old tree. This tree here is probably about 20 years old. They're a relatively moderate to slow growing tree. So it's not like you, know, you can plant it and the next year the tree is, is real big. You can plant these uh, either as a specimen tree or you can plant them close to your house. Uh, it makes an excellent border tree or a framing tree. So from here we're going to be looking at trees in the Anacardiaceae family. So, one more Anona that you may wish to consider is Anona diversifolia. This is commonly known as an Ilama. Uh, it's called diversifolia because the foliage is diverse. You have small leaves, you have long leaves, 
kind of it's a crop the, the leaves are similar in respect to leaves both on a sugar apple and then on a uh, at the moya. The, the, the thing about this fruit that's really nice is the, the fruit get very big and the flesh inside the fruit is this pinkish to red and it's very sweet very delicious and the tree makes a nice addition but it, you know you want to get this tree if you like anonis um, and I like anonas and I would definitely want one of these trees in my collection.